YouTube, I am back with another tutorial video. I hope this video is going to be fire for you guys. Um, a lot of you guys are still asking for, you know, advice or help with the PS5 controller, and I'm here to do that for you guys. Um, this is going to be a definitive video. It's going to go over Bluetooth. It's going to go over through Steam. It's going to go over through everything that I've already covered in the past videos, but I'm going to wrap it all into one, basically. Also, guys, I'm going to be doing a giveaway at 3,000 subscribers. Right now, we're at 2,000, about 2,045, I believe. But once we get to 3,000, I'm going to be giving a PS5 away. So what I want you guys to do to be able to enter in the raffle for this, I want you guys to go ahead and just leave me a like, leave me a comment just telling me, hey, yeah, I did this. And that's pretty much it. All I want you guys to do is just share my channel out there to everybody, and let's try to get to 3,000 subs. I really want this to become a kind of a YouTuber community, you know what I'm saying? Like, not only just for me, but for you guys too, where, you know, you guys give, I give, and it's like a pull, it's like a back and forth, you know? It, it, we can become a family. And I'm really looking forward for this. I really want to become a YouTube family with you guys um, because I'm going to be giving you guys the best solutions for the PS5 controller with PC out right now. So for fir first and foremost, we're going to go ahead and go for the Bluetooth method. So what you guys want to do is I'm over here. I have my controller plugged up because this is dead. I've been playing it on Bluetooth. Uh, what you guys want to do is I know a lot of you already know, but you're going to want to hit the PlayStation button and then the share button. Hopefully my controller has some charge where I'm able to do this. So you want to go ahead and do this until it's flashing. So hold on one second. It's going to see wireless controller right here. I'm not sure what the second one is, but you go ahead and do that. So as you guys can see, it's already connected. Everything is working well. Yeah. And then once that happens, all you got to do is literally like the PS4, PS5, PS4, all that. Once you want to play on the PC, all you got to do is literally press the PlayStation button. It will automatically connect as if it was a PlayStation itself. So that's for step one in the Bluetooth option. Um, now, when it comes to the Bluetooth option, you actually have different scenarios that you can use it for. And that is actually DS4 Windows. So I'm gonna go ahead and go over to DS4 Windows. For now, I'm gonna plug it up just because my controller is dead. And hopefully, I can get it to work for you guys. Yeah, so all you gotta do is, after you've connected it to Bluetooth, all you gotta do for the DS4 Windows is literally click. And it's gonna automatically plug up, watch this. I, mine starts to minimize, so it's gonna go over here like that. So what you wanna do is, you wanna go over here, open it up. Uh, I'm not sure why it's saying no controller. There you guys go. And as you guys have already seen in my previous video, you can literally change the color on everything. I'm only doing this with wired now because my controller is borderline dead. Like I've, <laughs> I've been playing with Bluetooth constantly. Uh, even though, you know, the, um, what is it, the MS or whatever, the, the, the reaction time sometimes can be a little bit less. It's, I think it's like one less or whatever. But yeah, you can change the color, yada, 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 yada. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and, and stop this. So we can go over to the next method. Uh, as you guys know, also with DS4 Windows, it's literally the easiest out of all of them. It's literally plug and play. DS4 Windows, you turn it on, you plug it in, you play. It's that easy on every single game. The only problem is, I believe, with most of the games is that you're going to be receiving Xbox controls because it pushes your controller into thinking that it's an Xbox 360. So that's about it. So for now, I'm going to stop this one. I'm going to end it. And then right after this, let's go right into the Steam method. So what I usually do is I like to put my Steam in big mode. Or big picture mode, I believe that's what it's called. And automatically, like it's plugged in, it's literally plug and play now. So Steam has been updated, and I can even show you guys. Hold on. Let's go over here to the controller settings. See, like automatically, everything over here, it says PlayStation 5 controller. It doesn't just say regular controller or anything like that because everything works perfectly. And what you guys could do, I know a lot of you guys in the comment section were asking, you were like, hey, how can I turn the rumble feature off? 
All you gotta do is go to the controller settings, go down here to the PlayStation controller, and then go to preferences, and then you'll see right there, it's on and off, on and off. It's literally that easy. You won't have any sort of rumbling at all. The only thing that's bad for right now is that you will not be having the adaptive triggers, but I will get to that soon. Um, so yeah, you can change the color. Hold on. I've showed you guys this in previous videos, but this is the definitive video, so everything is here. You know, every you can change everything you want. Has the best of everything, honestly. Um, if it's still not identifying it, you can literally go over here and calibrate it. You can put every single mapping to the PS5 controller that you want. Uh, this also works with Bluetooth. So what you want to do is basically, it's the same thing. As soon as you have your Bluetooth on and you have your Steam running, it's automatically going to pick it up automatically especially if you're running in big picture mode um i would show you guys but you're gonna have to ch check it out for yourself the controller is charging <laughs> i'm sorry i'll probably show you guys towards the end then i'll be playing bluetooth but yeah um also a lot of you guys were asking about call of duty on steam i recently have had issues with it also i don't know why but it's just it's just not working like i'll show you guys hold on Let's go in here. Let's go to games, Apex Legend. Yeah, let's go ahead and start it. Yeah, see, it changes to keyboard and mouse. I'm not sure why. Uh, let's see. Oh, oh, wait, wait. Export configuration. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Okay, hold on, let's see. Maybe I figured it out halfway through making the video. That would be great because then you guys won't have a problem anymore. Okay, let's see. Let's try it. Steam input per game settings forced on controller preference on. This requires a relaunch, okay. All right, let's go ahead and hit okay. Let's try it low key. Like, let's go ahead and reset it because that would be perfect if I just figured it out just now. Hold on, let's reset Steam. Fingers crossed, guys. Hopefully, everything's working. Let's go over here to this. Go to Black Ops Cold War. It still says controller, but I mean not controller, it still says keyboard, but let's try it out real quick just to see if it'll work. Let's see, hopefully it worked for all you Call of Duty fans out there. Doesn't look like it's working though. Ah, that sucks. I don't know what happened. It was working and then now automatically just stopped working. Hmm. Yeah, it still says your controller has been disconnected. That's that's very unfortunate. It's okay though. It's okay. Well, I'll figure it out potentially, or they'll just figure it out themselves. I don't know. But for now, let's go ahead and 
Go back. So black. Um. But yeah, um, so minor technical difficulties, but for now, until you see the controller icon show up right there on the screen, you see at the bottom right corner where the uh, the stuff is, like this right here, um, I'm guessing things just aren't going to work yet, which is fine because, you know, it's still in beta, so it makes sense. It makes it makes perfect sense. So yeah, that, that's, that's for now, but uh, let's move on. Let's go on to the adaptive triggers. All right, guys, so what we are back now, what I need you guys to do is um, I was going ahead and testing a few things before I went and recorded this. Uh, you guys want to go ahead and go into the hop into the tester. I'm going to leave it into the description below. If you haven't seen it like at all, like I want you guys to go ahead and check out one of my other videos where I discuss it. But uh, yeah, so what you want to do is you want to go ahead and make sure that you are connected to DS4 Windows. And this is to get the adaptive triggers to work if they're not working for you. Uh, this this is the only way besides because because I don't know why but for me it, it works naturally Sometimes it's been kind of wonky lately, but that's that's just it's whatever uh, But what you want to go you guys want to do is you want to go ahead and go into DS4 windows Make sure that that is connected and then you want to go into the tester I'm gonna leave another I'm gonna leave it into the description again this time Sorry minor difficulties, but anyway guys what you want to do is you want to go ahead and make sure that the slider number one is all the way up slider number six is all the way up Oh snap, I don't know why it's doing that. Slider number seven is around 24, and then slider number two is at three. Um, and then it should be able to make it like this, hold on. Oh, you guys hear it? It's not that strong, but you can keep tweaking it over and over again. Like we can make it stronger, let's see. It's not the strongest thing ever, but it's something hold on let's see let's make it to let's let's try let's try 88 now you go to 88 is pretty much borderline a vibrator all right so like let's go down to about 55 that's a little bit too much uh let's go down to about 39 39 is pretty cool i guess but i think 24 is the sweet spot when you're playing call of duty and other games like destiny other you know shooting games it literally vibrates your finger. Hold on. You can hear it. You can't really see it. I'm kind of heavy handed. So, you know, you're not really going to see it that much. Uh, let's see. Let's try 13. If you wanted to switch to this. You could do that. You could do 18. I think anything between 30, no, 40 and like. 20 or 40 and 13 would be perfect right, let's try 40 real quick actually let's try let's try 68 try 68 is borderline a vibrator also 45 vibrator i guess you could do that for like smgs and all that kind of stuff maybe depends on it actually 31 is actually pretty nice i'm not gonna lie to you like it's like I know you can't really see it that well, but it's actually not that bad. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. It's kinda, it's kinda, kinda feels kinda nice, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, look, I'ma chill out on that. But yeah, this is the overall, actually, I'm not, I'm still not sure what the overall motors do. I think the overall motors make it stronger or weaker. Put it back down. When I put it on three, it was actually pretty, it's actually pretty decent, I'm not gonna lie to you. So you guys try this out. You can screenshot it, whatnot. Also, this can also change the number of players. Like, hold on, let's see. Now you see the white bar comes up. Uh, the brightness, that doesn't seem like it worked. Guess not. Um, you can change the colors, the same thing. As long as it's connected to DS4 Windows. 
Uh, I'm gonna try to stay in communications with the uh, creator of this, which is Maxter. And I'll leave his uh, channel, his Discord, and everything. You guys can check it out, join it if you want. Um, but yeah, this is pretty much the definitive video for that. Uh, I hope I have enough charge. Let's see. I'm gonna try to connect it. Okay, so everything is connected. It works perfectly. Let's see if I can get this to work. Ah, still doesn't work with the uh, without the uh, what you call it. Um, but yeah, this is pretty much the definitive video. I hope you guys enjoy it. I've tried to work through everything that I know personally, but. I'm going to leave you guys to the discord and hopefully you guys can get even more answers. And if you guys feel like there's not enough answers, Hey, look, just, just hit me up. I'm there. I'm there. But before I go, actually, let's try out the controller real quick with, let's try it out with cyberpunk. Actually, let's try it out. So let's try it out. I have it on steam. So we don't need the DS4 windows. Let's get rid of that. And I'm going to go ahead and plug it up since my controller, ah, it might have a little bit of charge. Let's try it out. Let's see. Where is it at? Spring of Steam. Cyberpunk's right there, but I just wanted to show you guys that everything is working. I usually like to put the colors to the uh, the Cyberpunk colors. Like, hold on. Let's see. Let's go to controller settings. Preferences. You know, hold on. Ah! There we go. So look, it's like a yellow controller and it fits up with the um, with the cyberpunk theme. Let's go, let's check it out real quick. Yeah, recent. Ah, it's updating, wow. That's insane. The one time I wanted to play it out, <laughs> it's updating. But without further ado, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm sorry that this ended up stalling the gameplay, but it's whatever. You guys can actually check out my other gameplay. I put, posted a Cyberpunk video. Uh, I'll post out more Cyberpunk videos and I'll post out Call of Duty videos. It's probably gonna come either tonight or tomorrow night or tomorrow or, uh, or I don't know. It's gonna come out soon. Um, I'm probably gonna be trying to become more frequent if you guys are enjoying my videos, my gameplay videos also. Just like also in the comments besides the, the, the done and letting people know um, about my channel. Just also let me know what you guys are trying to see. You know, I'm 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 trying to be a pretty cool YouTuber. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm not trying to be, you know, a fake YouTuber doing all this kind of weird, crazy stuff. I just want to be a chill dude doing YouTube videos for you guys. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed your video. I said you guys about hundred thousand times, but it's okay. Um, stay safe out there, guys, because is it ah. Can't stop saying you guys. But anyway, stay safe out there, please, my people, because you know it, it's just it's, it's going crazy outside. Stay safe, stay indoors, be be calm, be cordial, everything, be diligent, everything. Now I'm just talking, but anyway, hope you guys enjoy. Subscribe, please. I hope you guys enjoyed the rest of the ah. Thankful for everybody that got to the end of the video. Peace. Have a nice day.